Since you are watching this video, I guess your computer is running with an issue here as you are trying to open a program app recently installed, this error arrived. The program can start because d3dx dll is missing from our computer. It's a very common issue and all you need to do is watch this video patiently and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I'll be fixing this error within 3 minutes, so start the countdown. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for dtdx underscore 27.dll. You can choose any result you want, I'm choosing the first one. This is not sponsored but I'll put the link in the description. Here you can see two files based on the architecture and version. To know your architecture and version, click on start and search for system information. Here you can see mine is 64 bit and I'm updated to the recent Windows update so I'll be downloading the second one. I strongly recommend you to read this page, it has other fixing method also. Wait until the download is completed. As the download complete, hit open. The downloaded GIF has two files, one is the dealer, the other one is readme. To move the DLL, first open this PC, then new volume C, Windows, and find a folder named System32. This is the home of 32 bit DLLs. Then click on the zip file, drag the DLL, and drop. I have already done this, so it is asking me to replace. And click on continue to give administrator access. Before we proceed, let's check. By typing the file name, we can see the file is perfectly placed in 32-bit folder. So job is done for 32-bit users, you can go and restart your computer. This is only if you are 64-bit users like me, open this PC, local Lixie. Windows and find a folder name syswall64 and similarly drag and drop. Check this once again. By typing the file name, we can see the file is placed in 64 bit folder too. So, job is done. And finally, restart your computer. In extreme rare cases, if the IoT lockers you need to download and install the latest Microsoft DirectX from Microsoft official website, then install your program again and that will surely fix it. And that's all. If you follow me step by step, you will no longer have that problem left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.